Hey there folks, Andrew at Chatfuel. Today we're going to be chatting about our newest feature called Segment Sync. This is a simple and subtle but extremely powerful and time-saving feature, especially if you're doing anything related to e-commerce. That's because this allows you to sync almost in real time your audience segments created in Chatfuel here in the People tab to Ads Manager. So in other words, when you're creating ads or sponsored messages, you no longer every time you create one have to go into the People tab, export a CSV file of that audience so it's the most updated as possible to create your ad. Instead, you just set up your segments here in the People tab once, sync those segments to Ads Manager, and they will be updated every hour on the hour in Ads Manager so that you just do it once and you are good to go for the future. Again, huge time saver for you. It'll save a lot of headaches. So the question is, how exactly do you get this set up and running? It's a very, very simple process, and it really will just take about 60 seconds or so, but I'll explain along the way. So we'll start here in the People tab. Obviously, this is a pro-only feature, and here you'll see the Sync Segments option. So if you click that, you will first be prompted to give ChatFuel permissions to access your Ads Manager account. You can see that I've already done that, but then upon doing that and accepting the terms, you will select your ad account here. So here my ad account is called Verified, and this contains the Facebook page that I have my bot connected to. So make sure that you choose that correct ads account or ad account, I should say. And then you will see a list of all your segments here that you've created in the People tab. You have some default ones and then any custom ones that you've created as well. So first I'll explain kind of the icons and what the text here means because you'll see a couple different options. First down here, you'll see this qualified lead segment that I've created with this play button. So if you see the play button and no text next to it, that means that you have not yet synced this segment, meaning it will not show up. It's not created as an audience yet in Ads Manager. So if I click that, it will then create that audience. And again, that audience will be dynamically updated as users, as subscribers are either added to or removed from that segment in chat fuel. Next here, moving on up, we have these two segments that I've created. You see they have a pause button next to them and the text live. This of course means that these segments are being actively synced in Ads Manager and there's nothing to do here, right? They are being constantly updated every hour and there's again, nothing to do here. Everything is good. And then finally up here, you see that I've paused this segment to be synced. So you see the play button with the paused state next to it. And really the only reason or one of the reasons why you would pause one of these segments is just if you have a really long list of them because ChatFuel here will only allow you to actively sync 10 segments at any given time. So if you want to sync more than that, obviously you can't. You need to pause one of the other segments here to do that. And a potential use case here is if you just want to sync an audience once, create a lookalike audience, let's say, then you can pause it and give more open slots to other segments that you'd like to sync. Okay, so we've said segment sync a lot here. I know it might be a lot to grasp, but at the end of the day, all you really need to know here is if you'd like to create one of these audiences in Ads Manager seamlessly without the need to export a CSV file, simply click the play button to start syncing it and you're good to go. And keep in mind, one other thing here is that if any of your segments have less than 30 subscribers, less than 30 users in them, you won't really be able to create an audience in Ads Manager. The segment will sync, but you may have issues running sponsored messages or click to messenger ads that you plan on running. Okay, so all that said, let's now hop on over into Ads Manager and show you how to use the audience. Now, this isn't going to be by any means a comprehensive tutorial on how to use Ads Manager or run sponsored or click to messenger ads. We have plenty of other video content on our channel showing how to do that, and I'll link some of those video tutorials in the description below. So at a high level, let's show you how this works nonetheless. I will start by setting up what that looks like. So I'll click messages here as the consideration, continue. 
Then for destination, I'll change this to sponsored message. And just in case any new users are watching, basically a sponsored message allows you to re-engage your subscribers if they've fallen outside the 24-hour window. In other words, if somebody has not interacted with your chatbot in the past day and you want to send them promotional content, you need to send a sponsored message. So that's what we're doing here. You pay for it, but it allows you to re-engage users who are no longer active in your bot. And so I'm then going to select my page here, which is Andrew's demo bot. That is the same page that I have my bot connected to, so you can see that right here. And then down here for audience, I'm going to click show advanced options, and I'm going to select the audience, the segment that I've created over here in chat fuel called sponsored messages. And I'll click here. Scroll down to Chat Fuel, Andrew's Demo Bot, Sponsored Messages, select that, and now we are good to go. Now you'll notice over here for audience size, once it loads, it will say that the reach is unavailable. Don't worry, no matter if you have 30 subscribers or 10,000 in this segment, it will not show an estimate. This is expected behavior, so don't worry, your messages will still be served. Okay, so that's really all that you have to do to set this up. Again, I'm not going to go through the rest of this process for setting up a sponsored message, but just know that this is how you select that audience. It will populate for you automatically. And a potential use case here, well, Let's say that you are an e-commerce store selling shoes and you just came out with a new collection of shoes. You want to send a notification, a message to your subscribers telling them that. You can run this sponsored message and do that, deliver that message just like this. And again, the benefit here of using segment sync as opposed to using the old methodology of exporting a CSV file is that, again, it's updated every hour so that you know, as you're continuously running this message, all the users you want to reach will be reached and you don't have to manually update it by continuously creating a new audience and exporting that CSV file. So that's the value add here. You just create the audience once and you're good to go. You set it and forget it. Now, one other thing that you can do with segment sync as well, of course, is I'll go and create a click to messenger ad. So this is a different ad type. Instead of sending a sponsored message, which is delivered only to existing subscribers in your chat fuel bot, what a click to messenger ad will do is show an ad in the newsfeed. And this can be to your existing chat fuel subscribers or anybody on Facebook for that matter. So you can take advantage of lookalike audiences here as well. And again, the value proposition here. You just set that audience once and you don't have to worry about it. So let's create a click to messenger ad here for retargeting. And I'll explain more on that in a second as to what the use case for that would be. So instead of again, a sponsored message, which delivers in the inbox, I'll choose click to messenger ad, which will appear in the newsfeed. And then down here for audience, I'm going to switch this out from sponsored messages to another segment that I've created here, which is abandoned lead form. And basically what I've set up here is that uh, basically let's say in our chatbot we have a lead form where people can, I don't know, create a wholesale order, a bulk order of our shoes, but maybe some people started that lead form, some people were interested, but then they dropped off, they didn't complete it. Well, what we're doing here is retargeting those users in the newsfeed and saying, hey, we saw you started filling out this wholesale order form, but you didn't complete it, you know, reminding them to to come back in chat fuel to complete it. Now, of course, you could do this for free. You don't need to run an ad. You could, you know, send a sequence message or use the re-engage tab to send a message if people are within that 24 hour window. But let's say that in addition to that, we just want to reach these qualified leads, these potential leads uh, in sort of a different real estate setting in the newsfeed. We can do that here using click to messenger ads. And again, you can also take advantage of segment sync with lookalike audiences. So it doesn't just have to be limited to these people who were actually in your chatbot. So this is just, again, another use case for segment sync. It doesn't only apply to sponsored messages, although it's extremely useful for that. You can also use these other forms of targeting as well. And just as a final recap here as well, since I didn't explicitly show it, if you would like to create a new segment in the people tab, it's very simple. All you have to do is click this add segment button here. 
and then you can apply whatever sort of filters you'd like to use. So for example, I could apply an attribute for gender and say I want to include only women. I could do that and then rename the segment here as well. I could call this women subscribers, right? So very simple to set up and then I could go here, click sync segments, see that listed there and start syncing the segment. Again, keep in mind, you do want a minimum of 30 subscribers. So here I could sync that, but I won't be able to use that audience in Facebook for sponsored or click to messenger ads. Okay, so that's the general recap and walkthrough of how Segment Sync works in the People tab here. Again, a huge time saver to prevent you from having to always export from the People tab different audiences and constantly update them. Here, you just do it once and you are set. Okay, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. Otherwise, good luck and happy botting.